what you see in science fiction, tech fiction, is very quickly becoming possible. If you point the structure sensor out into the world, you're capturing the world. It's like uh, giving some sort of a super power to average Joe devices. What if you could give your mobile device a new sense? The ability to not just capture the world in two-dimensional images, but to actually understand it in three dimensions. The structure sensor does just that. It's the world's first 3D sensor for mobile devices. What I really am excited about with the structure sensor is it makes it so easy. You can clip it to a mobile device and walk around your world, basically pull your world into a digital form. My name is Jeff Powers, and I'm a founder of Occipital. We're passionate about giving devices the ability to see and understand the world around them. This isn't about taking pictures. It's about computer vision and interaction. We call it spatial computing. It's much bigger than just us, and it's going to change the way we interact with the world. Let me show you what you can do with it. You'll be able to capture every dimension of an entire room in a matter of seconds. And you can send a model to your phone so you can get any dimension you need at any time. You'll be able to easily capture and send three-dimensional objects across town or across the world and make decisions together even when you're apart. You'll be able to play games, games where the real world becomes the game world. Structure works by capturing a pattern of invisible laser projected light, which allows you to measure thousands of distances all at once. The iPad has arguably the best user experience of any tablet, and it was important to us to go the extra mile to make Structure work specifically with it. Structure latches securely to your iPad. It connects via the new lightning connector. The end result is actually thermal design, mechanical design, industrial design, all being put together into one perfect object. Structure's single-piece body is machined from high-grade anodized alumina. It serves as both a beautiful exterior and as a thermal core that keeps the precision optics inside at an optimal temperature. What's really important is get a platform out there and see what developers do with it. You'll get an SDK that lets you tap into a 3D sensor on iOS. You'll have complete low-level access to the sensor. And if you don't feel like processing raw depth data, you can tap into the high-level APIs. If you want to develop on another platform, we're giving you everything you need, a USB hacker cable, open source drivers, and even open CAD specs so you can 3D print your own attachment for almost anything. New senses are going to make possible new applications. Well, for me, the challenge has been in creating three-dimensional objects. This completely obliterates that challenge. Structure is the sensor we always wanted. They had the Pano 360 and Red Laser. So this is a team that can actually pull this off. Get a sensor and be one of the first to experience what happens when your mobile device can understand the world in three dimensions.